Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. We are at a point where we can probably start thinking about managing some vassals. Just a little bit. Not like a huge amount, but just a little bit more cleaning up of our vassal borders just to make things look a little bit nicer. Now in particular, the vassals I want to clear up are the ones which are over here in Lithuania. Now I'm not really too worried about if they hold too much land outside it, although this guy down here, I think, so I'm trying to find the right map mode for this. Oh, they're not even in Lithuania, but they hold some land in White Rus and Ruthenia, which is a little bit much. Where does it end? So Mazovia? No, that's Poland. So Prussia, actually this land might be fairly okay, apart from this like tiny bit of land there. Oh, uh, yeah, actually that kind of looks fine. Never mind, I, I take it back. Maybe this is the bit that's a little bit off. Yeah, there is a little bit that's off here. So I want to do that, but the other thing I want to do in sorting out the vassals in Lithuania is I want to have a look and make sure that our direct vassals are of our religion. And as you can see, some are not. So let's convert them, shall we? Uh, I think they're all they're all old Ukonusko because it was part of that heresy, but we might as well demand conversion now while we can. I mean, look at that, it's a 100% success chance, and it will convert the children as well. It just seems like a thing that we should do. It's actually really easy, in fact, they're 100% wanting to do it, which is, like, it's very funny that they're, um, they all converted when actually... Oh, there we go! This guy, he doesn't want to, because he's, uh, what? He's a heresake? What's this? It's the local leader of a heretical sect. Ah! He created the uh, heresy. I could see how it might be, um, yeah, how, how we, he might not want to uh, convert. I can see that. Um, oh. I guess I'll ask him nicely. He's not even in Lithuania though, so I don't know. I guess my original point is kind of null and void. Let's do some of this. You want to hook on me? Um, hmm. So if I get a hook, I will... yeah, he can push himself on our council. I don't think so, no. I'm not going to bargain for your soul. We'll get the rest of them for free, though. Wonderful. Right. Actually, you know what bit of... I was going to say which bit of Lithuania is a little bit off? Iceland. Due to being nowhere near Lithuania. That That is a little bit off. We could split that bit off. Anyway, you. Uh, you have just had your title revoked. You just don't know it yet. No? You don't want to? Let me just double check things. Should be good to go here. Let's raise some troops and then go and sit on their capital. Wait, are you currently in a war that you're losing? You are. Oh, wonderful. Right, um... Raise our troops here. Raise all. Create a pile. Spouse Investment Inquiry. With Emperor Guthrither's diligent administration of my household finances, there is more gold at the end of this season than expected. How shall we put it to best use? Be an encouraged development for 10 years? That's pretty good. 10% extra development for 10 years. A party? Defenses? Or let's save it. Let's invest it. Sure, let's get that development growth. That seems good. Oiling anger. This person was mad and he has made us mad because he is mad. He is my rival. Hmm. Okay, that's not ideal. Neighboring ruler won a war. Nice. Finished a couple of buildings. Hey, this person was mad and therefore we lost stress. Why are we getting to everybody's mad events? Did we do something to make that happen? Anyway. Uh, let's move over here. I decided not to raise all of our troops. We're just going to sit here for a second. Hey, you. Uh, I'm going to take your titles. Is that okay? I can't do that. Why? Because it's because the, the thing's occupied. Ah, so I need you to end your other war. All right. Um, stop vassal war. I need you to white piece it, please. Wonderful. Thank you. I really appreciate that. By the way, I'm going to take your titles. There we go. That's fine. Whoa! A lot of people joined. Why did all these people join? <laughs> How did you get all these people to join you? They're, um, they have a hundred opinion of me. That doesn't seem correct. They're not disgruntled vassals. They have a hundred opinion of me. Um, alright then. Whatever. Uh, I guess our definitions of disgruntled vassals are slightly different. 
Alright, well, I'm going to spend my first 30 days sieging your capital. We'll see how things go. Good. Uh, what was that? Neighboring ruler, one more. Ah, okay, not really that relevant then, huh? Got anybody in here that we can uh, convert or that we want? I don't really want you or want to convert you. You, kind of the same thing. Uh, yeah, I'll gain a hook. Oh, you're the same guy. I keep trying to, he's been in there for four years. I only actually got one new one. Right, head up along here to that one. Yep, charge along the coast. Gained our favor. Uh, we need a new chancellor. New chancellor, because I guess our other chancellor went to uh, join this faction. It's going to be this guy. Why did I put some random person in charge? Well, so when all my vassals come back, I can actually um, assign the good person to it again. What's this? Enter seclusion, isolate capital. Do we really have a disease, or is this like another... Mm, this is another fake disease. Okay, cool. Lovely. Right, back up here. We're going to catch them. you love to see it. They will get absolute. Oh, they put an organizer in charge. Or they change their direction. Do we have an organizer? We do. Fantastic. They put an organizer in charge. We're going to get as close as possible. Then we're going to switch it back to us. There we go. We caught them. We just put someone else in charge of the journey. There's a 100% war score. I enforce my demands. Wonderful. Disband our army. You. You have forfeited the right to your titles. Okay. Um, then, your son, this dude, you, I will give the titles to. So you can keep it. You just, like, um, you just have to go away. That seems fine. Oh, wait. Will you convert? Uh... Maybe. Yeah, we just need your father to go away. Right. Convert? 58%. He says no, I'm going to be very unhappy. Feudal favoritism. Um, Countess Rikissa has been silently seething all evening, but finally bursts as I reach for the fine cheeses. I simply cannot understand why he granted the Yardom of Hagolan to Jarl Hjalmar, my rightful claim to these lands is acknowledged by all. What's a grave offence I have caused that you should treat me so ignobly? I mean, he is not even a Nukunusko. Yeah, whatever. Convert. You, you can have it. Why not? I, I changed my mind. This is your this is your uh, title. You're right. It should be yours. Did that actually even give the title to... Um... Wait, who holds this title? Hagaland. It's her. Yeah, so why when I split on my land was it showing it not as her? Probably because I need to wait half a second. I befriended this person. Wonderful. No, I'm closer to friending that person. Whatever. Right. Is that better now? No? So why is this... Okay, so you hold the Yaldum of Hagaland, which is de jure this... But, oh, I guess these people aren't directly underneath you. What what land do you actually hold? Am I being stupid? Do you, oh, wait. Uh, no, you're... Duchy. You. What what land do you hold? You hold... Su uh, Sutherland. Oh, I see. Alright, well... I made things worse. That's fine, Whatever. Uh, I'm now going to grant you these two people as vassals. I think will probably fix my issue. Temporarily, as long as I don't look at Iceland. Okay, cool. This is called bad vassal management. I'm just showing you how not to do it, right? Yeah. Sac secondhand glamour. Find this raiments in the land. Matzava, mostly because they ain't from this land, chortles Drifa as I walk past her open chamber. Her voice oozes charm, but even so, my other courtier seems unsure of how, uh, of the pitch. Almost new, just as good as new, and fresh from the trendsetters in uh, Basilius uh, Paschalis' court. They are what everyone in the Byzantine Empire will be wearing next season. Um, I don't care. Cool. Right, uh, we can ransom you for 45 uh, gold. That seems good. I will do that. Right. 
Let that go through. I gained a rival. Alright, you didn't really languish in my prison. You were there for like a week. You, Vladimir. We did want to take some land off of Vladimir, and we're by rights good to do it now. So what's the Jure Vladimir is here? So we could take the Ruthenian land. So what's this? This one vassal? No, there's many vassals. I can take Zayahel. Can I do that legally? Retract vassal, Zahayel. Uh, that would be fine, although I would gain stress. That's okay, we have a solution for stress. We give our player heir some money. That doesn't lower my stress? Why is that no not lowering my stress? It lowered my stress before, but why it doesn't lower my stress now? Interesting. Wait, if I give some random courtier some money, does that lower my stress? Okay. I guess you have to give it to maybe somebody who doesn't have piles and piles of money. Okay, fair enough. I give this random guest some money. This now means that I can revoke some land from uh, Vladimir legally. There we go. I am going to retract vassal. I retract that vassal from you. I gain stress, but that's okay. Okay. That makes Vladimir a little bit smaller. Now, did I give up my reason for retracting t things there? Or am I still legally allowed to retract things? I'm still legally allowed to retract things. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to retract this vassal as well. Which shouldn't lower his opinion of me any further. That should keep his opinion the same. Yeah, because this is a, um, a recharging one rather than one that stacks. Wonderful. So all I need to do is every so often go in here and be like, hey you, have some money, and then I can take more from Vladimir. This is fantastic. This worked out really well. Okay, never mind. This is good vassal management. I knew it was going to happen all along. I was only able to take two from him. Or apparently taking these would be too far. However, I don't have any tyranny, so um, now's the time, right? I'll take that one. Okay. Uh, stress level, I need to give somebody else some money. You have some money. Vladimir, uh, retract vassal. I really wish that he could have like a few um, vassals who had more than one piece of land. That would really be appreciated. Can I give him money? Just be even, yeah, that, that, that works even better. Although I am having to give him a little bit more money, but it does mean he likes us again. Even though I'm about to retract more vassals from him. Okay, and can I get one more without needing to spend more money? Yep, okay. So I now have all of those. Okay, so what else does he have that he shouldn't have? So he shouldn't have this land up here. Is that de jure his? Okay, so that's actually his land. And then he holds some land over here, this county of Upland. I would love to revoke the county of Upland. So let's find a guest. Like you. Wonderful. You. I'm going to retract that vassal from you. Yep. Wonderful. So Vladimir now looks a lot nicer. Look at that. That looks a lot cleaner. Now there is some stuff happening down here. I'm not really going to deal with that yet. I just want to take this bit of land. Because this is his furthest away bit of land. So Vodi and Narva. Alright, I have lost my reasons for revoking titles. Okay, in which case, you know what? We'll let him go. Vladimir, we, we've dealt with you. You will now pay us 217 gold, which means actually all the money I gave you is coming back. Great. Love to see it. Also, Upland, I assume, is part of Upland. Oh, I'm a genius. I worked that one out all by myself. Let's grant you that vassal. Look at that. So that makes Upland look a little bit nicer. Wait a second. I just realized the guy who holds all of this land that I said was kind of out of uh, where it should be. He also holds all of this land as well. Okay. Well. There you have it. Hey, more money. Love to see it. Uh, who else do we have in our prison? We have this guy. You shouldn't hold the land in. You shouldn't hold Masuria. Yeah, do you hold the Duchy of Masuria? You do. I'm going to revoke that from you. I'm allowed to. It's legal. 
Uh, yep. Okay. So I'm then going to give that to somebody in Masuria. Like one of our late Norse people. How about you? Let's grant you Masuria. Perfect. So that now looks a little bit better. Cleaned up that border. Okay. This guy, give me your money. Finland! Finland, I actually think, controls pretty much Finland. Yeah, we already sorted you out. You can just give me money and then you can go. Thank you. Shurnagov. Shurnagov controls a little less than the de jure borders of Shurnagov. All right, well, in which case you can give me some money and off you go. Who's next? Prussia! Prussia, Prussia, Prussia. Hmm. Well, you have two options. You can either give up Iceland or you can give up Prussia. Also, let me just check something here. Ah, no, she holds this directly. I was hoping that she didn't hold this directly and we could give, um... We could give Iceland to her, uh, to her vassal, which would then let us get rid of it all at one go, but that's fine. Um... Your Aldom of Iceland. Is that ele is this under elective? No, it's under partition. Oh, okay. Let's uh, revoke that one. Wonderful. I'm now going to grant that to um, you, you, or you. I can grant it to you. I'm aiming for the youngest person that I can grant these to, who is our culture and our religion. Wonderful. So she now holds that land. Prussia now only holds Prussia, which is fantastic. We can now... Also, I think because I revoked something, I got a new artifact. Yeah, I got Paws Pelt. Cool. Because um, when you revoke a title, you get the artifacts that are tied to that title, I believe. Um, so that's fine. Oh, so it must have been when I revoked this stuff up here. Let me double check I didn't get anything else out of that. Uh, just out of curiosity... Nope, didn't get anything else out of that. Didn't have anything in here. That all seems good to me. Right, I can now ransom... Which one are you? You're Prussia, right? Yeah, I can now ransom you for 55. You're very unhappy at me. I mean, that's fair. Uh, I think I might just uh, get a who can let you go. You, Estonia. Uh, I think Estonia holds pretty much the land we want Estonia to hold. Yeah, give me your money and you can go. This dude? Mm, I think you can probably, if you got any money. No, you can probably just give me a, well, you can just stay in prison, huh? On with that dude. All right, cool. Right, unpause. We have huge amounts of cash. All right, that went pretty well. That was much better than it had any right to be. That um, cleaned up our borders and made me a huge amount of money. Okay, cool. Um, it has been pointed out, by the way, that I can much easier see who somebody killed if I'm like, oh, they're a Kinslayer. Just go to their kill list. That's a much easier way of doing it. So you killed this person. Was murdered. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty bad. You probably shouldn't have murdered your uh, kin. I'm going to pardon you, though, because um, that's just the way I roll. Wait, unless we need... Is Trudia some land that we can... No, we don't really need to sort out the borders of that. I'll grant you a pardon. Right. Uh, we can change our vassal's contract, really? Really? Well, okay. Well, I'll use a hook. There we go. Wonderful. So now we're making a little bit more out of that. Wonderful. I will lose land if Gunhildr of Finland dies. Why? Because her heir is the Emperor of Leon. Oh. All right, then. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, right. We were going to do it. We were we were considering a legend last time. I just want to double check what we had. Uh, this one was the one that gets you evangelized, and this one was the one that gets you the launch a legendary thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we didn't want to do either of these legends. We wanted to do a new legend. Wonderful. I think we might be able to unpause or do something. Could go on another grand tour to earn some money. Could go on a pilgrimage. It could allow us to go to some interesting places. Let's maybe do a pilgrimage. Where, where can we go? Uh, it will be a worldly pilgrimage. 
Um, because we've been along here. Could go to Perm. I'm just not sure what's in between. So if I go to Perm, yeah, there are a couple of places in between that we can go to. This is the main reason for going, so just clear out those for now. So customize routes. So we do want to go here, which we're already going to. We then love to go to there. And then that's fine. Seeing what we got on the way back. On the way back, we could go here. Into here. Into here, which we would already be going through, but that's fine. Into Vladimir. Which will get us even more martial. Uh, along down to this one as well, in White Russ. And then we can grab these two on the way back. Yeah, so we can kind of loop around, grab ourselves some diplomacy stuff there, grab ourselves some learning stuff there, and then maybe even... You know what, I'll do that on the way. Let's pop to that one on the way. Grab ourselves a little extra marshal. Yeah, that seems good. Nice little trip. Apply. Let's now see how much is dangerous. So nothing is super dangerous. Where are we seeing the danger? We're seeing it mostly in these ones. So we have some taiga. So that would be forest guides. Yeah. That lowers a lot of the danger. And then we have some danger over here in the hills. So do we have a hills guy? Um, Higher mountaineer? Yeah, that works. And then actually having a caravan master at all would also help. Whereas between these two, I'd take the person with the better stats. So let's do that. Wonderful. Uh, we can only have one thing we can choose here. Um, seeing here. This is piety earned on completion. We're not really worried about that. Um, I think appropriate pomp seems fine. You bring bodyguards or good knights, uh, perhaps a friend. Okay. And then our goal, I guess lowering our stress is fine because then we can er we can earn money off of that. Start pilgrimage. Wonderful. That's fine. Okay. Um. Then we're gonna head out. Yeah. Seems good to me. Uh, also, I'm just looking at this. We are a little bit below five. Oh, I didn't notice that before, but yeah, it's a little annoying. An earthly contemplation. Along the path to the Holy Land, I've met all kinds of pilgrims, both young and old. It's as if I'm witnessing a tapestry of my own life play out before me. Silver hair and wrinkled skin always seemed so distant until they came to me. I can't help but feel that this pilgrimage may be my last before I take the ultimate journey to... Tuonela. Perhaps I ought to stop a while and contemplate life's brevity. Be determined, which gives us monthly lifestyle uh, experience. Be determined to live, which gives us more health, or makes my heart ache. We'll be determined. Wonderful, that worked. Hey, Ransom, you would like to pay me 15 gold. Sure. That seems good. Uh, and that means that we don't uh, lose dread, which is the reason why we weren't just releasing him for free. Okay, cool. Level of Splendor went up. Fantastic! Means uh, our children get more prestige. Marrying into the dynasty gets more prestige and we get more long reign opinion. I just realized, usually I'm like, this is this means nothing. Like, usually I'm like, oh, right, it went up. I'm like, oh cool, the long reign bonus is nice. But, actually, this is a pretty big bonus, getting 700 prestige. Because prestige is one of the things that makes people vote for you. So, having your children be born with more prestige means that more people are going to vote for your dynasty. Now, I think most of the people who can vote are in our dynasty anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, you know, it's kind of nice. It it's going to make voting easier. Um, in theory. Right, here. Yeah, let's just continue converting bits. So, I'll convert that bit next. Two years left. Okay. Cool. And now... What's this? Offer concubine. You'd like this person to be a concubine of ours. Nah, I think I'm alright, thanks. Seems fine. You can demand payments. I guess we have no stress. We should demand payments, shouldn't we? Let's get a little uh, 50 gold there. Seems good to me. Wonderful. 
continue heading along our path. I'm not going to learn the future. We're getting more martial lifestyle experience. This is the one where they, uh, there's a person who's uh, questioning our rule. That's fine, we don't care. Um, cool. Carrying on. Mark of distinction. Because our legacy, or, or because our level of splendor has gone up, it means that our banner is now better because our banner is based off our uh, level of splendor. Fantastic. I forgot. That is another little benefit that you don't really see that often. As in, like, it's not a very obvious one, but it's like, oh yeah, it's good. This person wants to duel us. Uh, I have no interest in fighting you. I'll take the stress hit. Uh, my daughter and heir girly has given birth to a daughter. This one is not a genius. What is wrong with Emela? Also, new name. Hey, more martial lifestyle experience. you love to see it. Carrying on along our path. Okay. Um, Aslug now speaks Arabic in Mordvinia. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a common one that we've seen a few times. You know what I just realized about this one? Are we... Is that Finland or is that... That's a lower down bit of Finland. Okay. Yeah, never mind. There's nothing we can really do with that. I was thinking... Well, what I was wondering is, if I raise my crown authority to level 3, then I can stop land leaving our um, realm. Although, actually, I, don't, I need to have royal prerogative, which we don't have researched, so... Yeah, whatever. Point is, invalid in the first place. Hey, we get Pilgrim, that gives us some travel speed, travel safety, piety, all sorts of nice stuff. It's all good. Factions are being created against us, we're not that worried about them. Uh, the echo of my own footsteps is the only sound in the temple. I'm alone. The last thing I remember from the outside world is the face of those beggars near the gates and the blue, blue sky. So distant uh, now. I should make an offering. I can give the de decorated Baba Yaga figurine here. No, I quite like the, um, quite like the health. Get an architectural interest. Okay, or pray. Uh, let's try and get the learning from this one. We didn't get it, but what we did get was a stress loss, which now allows us to take more money off of our vassals. Wonderful. Look at that. It's great. Factions are created against us, don't care. Aki's boils, are those real? No. Okay. It's fine. Back in here. It's spread to eight more provinces. Am I sure it's not real? Oh, it's down here. Yeah, it's not going to affect us. Probably. Maybe. Mm, it does appear to be spreading rather quickly. Right. Uh, here. Let's grab centralization. Increases development growth in the realm capital. If I go and have a look at our realm capital, development growth is now 1.1 per month, which is quite nice. Um, Yeah, this is spreading a little bit. How dangerous is this? Minor. All right. Well, whatever. Don't care then. Uh, you know, let me know when it's dangerous. That's fine. Uh, the markets of Perm are bustling with merchant shouting in languages I've never heard and selling spices I've never tasted. The guide of the pilgrim, learn the safest routes, discover the marvels of Perm, one of them yells, waving a small book in my direction. Um, so, I can buy a book. Okay, gets me the pilgrim's guide and gets local expert added to us. Uh, I'm sure I've seen this book before. We become more worldly. I gain local expert and there's a chance to gain diplomacy. Okay, or Uko shall guide me. I will do this. Okay, it's fine. Hey, we got some glory uh, added to our developmental champion. That's great. It's level 4 now. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it's giving us some nice benefits. Imprisonment chance, weirdly, is there. Um, night effectiveness is huge on this one, though. Look at that. And the oh, size of archer regiments has gone up. If we keep going there, we'll actually get another size of archer regiments, and that'll be even better, better. We didn't even get to a level 1 pilgrimage, just because of the way pilgrimages work. It doesn't really matter. Cool. And we get poverty's journey for 10 years, so holy order higher cost down. Not that there are any holy orders, I think. Let me just have a look. Do we even have holy orders? No. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we don't really need holy orders either, but um, yeah, we don't have any. Got another 50 gold, and off we go.
We have a new cadet branch in Upland. Wonderful. Uh, we don't eat foreign food. Neighboring ruler won a war. That's fine. Went over there, got some martial lifestyle experience, which gets us a new martial perk. Um, I don't know. I guess never back down is pretty useful. Gets you... Uh, yeah, it just kind of generally makes everything you're doing better. Makes you better in contests. That seems good. Right. Continue heading over. Got more martial lifestyle experience. My brother drank himself to death. We're trying to l find out which way to go. And uh, we interpreted the instructions that we got here. Wonderful. Carrying on. All the way over. Over Mordvinia. Head to the capital. Get ourselves a little bit more martial lifestyle experience. You've promoted the culture in, uh, I think that's, yeah, Finland's capital. Let's find a powerful vassal of ours. Talk about powerful vassals. I was going to say, I think Vladimir probably wants to be back on the council. Um, is yours got reasonable development? It's got three. That's not really reasonable. How about you? Three. Okay. Um... Wait, do we have... Yeah, how about you? Two. Uh, down here. You're, you've got zero development. Alright, well, I take it back. Three is looking pretty good. Although Finland's capital moved over here, so maybe we should uh, convert the new capital of Finland. Yeah, we'll promote this cult. We've already converted that culture. Alright. Uh, Bajarmaland, your last chance. Five? By far the highest. There you go. Let's convert that one. Okay. Wolf struggle. Um, do I want to help this guy with a wolf? Mm. Well, I really wouldn't like to die for it. I will gain stress. You know what I can do? Here, ha have a little gift of money. There we go. Right. Now I can say I won't risk my life for this and not gain a lot of stress. Wonderful. Okay. We've run out of food. Uh, let's assume that the locals must have something, I think. Uh, I'm not going to take the 1% chance I die. Yeah, the locals must have something. That's okay. From dust, we'll spend some money to get disease recovery. That's fine. I uh, should just close this every time and then I can get rid of all the pop-ups or all the notifications with one. Bit there. My prisoner finally died. Fantastic. Finally, is no longer on the list. Ivar, our non-genius grandson. What do you want to do? You want to be in, in intrigue business. All right, I suppose. That's fine. We got anybody who can actually educate you? Anybody who isn't a genius who can educate you? We do have two geniuses, both of which aren't busy. Okay, I guess you can educate them. Um, all right, I was going to say, for a second there, I thought he was, um, yeah, I thought he was both of our ones, but I was looking at this person. Okay, that's fine. I was trying to figure out why I could convert his culture when he was already the, he, like, when they had the same culture, but they didn't. That was the, that was the trick. Okay. Hen long here. Nothing we need to do there. We've got vassals we can grant to rightful leashes, apparently. We should probably have a look at that at some point. More martial lifestyle experience. Okay, we've got some more diseases that we can ignore. This person's trying to um, be friends with us. We're going to not say yes because that would stress us out. Um, oh, the disease is over here this time. Okay, not a problem. You want to be a gardener? Yeah, sure. I didn't get gardener. I got down to earth, which is a health boost for 10 years, which is nice. What's our health? Our health is fine at 71. That's not bad. You converted the faith. Wonderful. Why don't you convert the faith in that one? Randomly chosen. Visited our legendary palace. Got ourselves diplomacy, lifestyle experience. Uh, this person would like us to um, follow him. We will follow him. The champion leads us to a small clearing where a natural fountain glimmers. The light reflects on its surface with a blissful shimmer and makes the water look so bright that it feels like a second sun. 
Careful, a beast, a guardian. The champion points at a wolf standing between us and the fountain. Um, and gain knight errant training, and he can get healing water. And he would join our court. Um, I don't really want healing water, so I guess I'll choose the top option. I didn't really want him either, but I guess we have him now. New learning perk. Wonderful. We got that for going to Estonia. We can now take our learning perk, which is going to be anatomical studies. Makes our court physician better. Uh, we have a scandalous priest. I'm going to say bad priest. Right. Independence faction that this guy has against us for no apparent reason. He wants Grodno. Okay, sure, whatever. You've wanted Grodno for ages. Uh, this person's stuck in his armor. We say, okay, cool. And we arrive home. Fantastic. How's our uh, traveler trait looking? Hey, we're level one wanderer now, which gives us an even, even more health boosts. You'll love to see it. Um, multiple bits of uh, realm losing land if people die. Okay, cool. Where, where's Grodno? You want Grodno, Grodno, Grodno. We've already looked at this one, right? You the person who has Grodno? No. Can is it show me where Grodno is if I look at this? Yeah, the Yaraldom of Grodno. That is de jure part of White Rust. You are correct. However, this person holds too much land. We're, we've looped. We're, we're back to this guy again. Okay, cool. Well, I actually think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode because I need to go. But thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.